my uh, mom, she goes shopping, you know, because she gets in these ruts and then she takes her dog van shopping. You know, she means businesses, you know, dogs and there. She's gonna, she fills it up. She hoards all these, um, first of all, she doesn't need any more stuff. And you tell her that and she's like, well, Jesus Christ, I need to get away from your father. <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> that's why she goes. And, and, and they're retired now and she's always like, oh, retirement is, is either you wake up or you don't. Uh, I don't know, so I, I was like, why am I saving up for that, first of all? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and, but she, go, she, she goes and she, I don't know why she has to get away from him. It's not like he ever talks to her. <laughs> He just sits in his chair, oh, wa they got this new Dish TV network now, and he just sits in his chair watching the Dish TV network menu all day. <laughs> he, yeah, he thinks it's a show. He thinks... <laughs> I think he thinks it's like a puzzle finder show. <laughs> like the Weather Channel was way too exciting. <laughs> But you know, and they never have touched a computer, but they have 50 remote controls. They know how to work all these controls. And I, don't, I swear, one time, my dad did try talking, and my mom pointed the control at him, and she pushed mute, and he shut right the hell up. Much, they, they're homebodies. They, they really, they, but they live vicariously through Patton Vanasajak. <laughs> <laughs> they had a friend that came over, and he was just down to Orlando. And um, he, he, my parents were like, Orlando, huh? The wheel was just down there. <laughs> Seems like a nice place, a lot of big spins down there. It's, I don't know. And so, I don't know. So she goes and she gets these shops, she goes to the clearance racks and she hoards all these. So that's why there's still some Kmart's in operation, it's because of my mom. <laughs> You know, she just hoards up on these clearance items. Well, one, the last one she was so excited about that she got me was this uh, pantsuit, this B. Arthur style pantsuit. <laughs> and it had uh, maple, puffy, sparkly maple leaves all over <laughs> the legs and the shirt, the blazer, just puffy. Like you could tap the shoulder pads and get out syrup. <laughs> She buys me perfume and it's horrible and no woman's cologne should ever contain the word musk. Um, I, think, I think musk is what you're trying to cover by wearing the cologne. I thought, well, what about the earthy woman like a nice musk? So I, so I invented an organic scent for the earthy woman and I call it Hamster's Glen. <laughs> People are like, what's it smell like? Oh, it's right on the label. The, the hamster has a unique odor that nobody has captured yet. 